In today's video, we install the clutch linkage and get our shifter adjusted. Alright, so this is the flywheel and this is the pressure plate. In between the pressure plate and the flywheel there's a clutch. I think you can see it right between there. And if you point the camera over here, this is the clutch fork. So there's actually a fork that goes through the bell housing over the input shaft, the transmission, and when you push the clutch, this Z-bar is going to, I mean, I'm just still trying to figure out how this works, but when normally when you push the clutch, this is going to push this way, and there's a pivot, a fulcrum, inside the bell housing, so it's going to go like that. And if, depending on this, if they put in a diaphragm style or a Borg and Beck style clutch, the diaphragm style is going to have um, a bunch of fingers and there might be 10 or so fingers around the, around the center, whereas the Borg and Beck is only going to have three. Borg and Beck style clutches are better for um, like a truck or something with a lot of high torque, but it's going to have a lot, of, a lot of hard pressure to push on the clutch pedal, whereas a diaphragm is going to be easier to press on the clutch, but it's not going to grab as hard. So I don't know what they put in here, but the theory of operation is the same. There's a bracket on the frame that you'll see in a later shot that goes Put that through the bracket, put the nut on. This goes to the, there's a rod that goes through the firewall that when you press the clutch it'll like that. And then we gotta hook this bolt up to this member. So as you twist, it'll it'll uh, press, you know, essentially like that. Clutch in, clutch out, clutch in, clutch out. So it'll push this fork like we talked about before. And then when we get it all hooked up, it'll look like this. And you adjust this nut to take the play out of your throw out bearing. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take this bolt, hook it up to this to this bracket, oh, yeah, lower the car down, hook up the rest of it, and raise the car back up. So this has to be, this has to be routed through that, through the header, huh? So this has to be routed through the header. I mean, it must. All right, now press it. You getting resistance? Yes. All right, let go. Okay. So I gotta tighten up that bolt. All the way up? Uh, yeah, pull it all the way up with your hand. Okay, clutch is hooked up. Demonstrate for the camera, press. Okay, let go. Press, let go. All right, that's good. So what I'm gonna do with the shifter, this is a Hurst style shifter. You have three levers. Yeah, this is, I think the shifter's way out of adjustment. Yeah, I can't get it really to the side to side. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the cotter pins out of these three levers. See, there's a notch there, there's a notch there. Quarter inch drill fits in the notch. And you can see a notch on each of the shift levers. So there's one there, one there, and one there. So when you're in neutral, what you do is you, you put this drill through this notch. Something like that. That's what you want. That's how you know you're in neutral. So then what you would do is you would you would have this on the car. This is the transmission side. And you would hook your three levers up to here. There's a there's adjusters on the on the shift linkages. See how they all have a nut? 
and you would um, adjust them. See, Ryan's got them kind of adjusted so that they're all the same. Whereas you can see with this drill in there, the far passenger side one is off of off of the other two. So I think it doesn't go into reverse because he's got the um, shifter adjusted wrong. So I'll just make sure we're neutral. We should be able to turn the output shaft. So if you look at the plate, this is important to note. There are, I shouldn't have taken this bolt out, I'll put it back in now. But there's a mounting plate that goes on the tail housing. And the mounting plate has a, has a recess in it. When, yes. you go, when you go in reverse, this pin comes out. And if, if there's a flat plate here, the pin will hit that and you won't be able to go in reverse. So it looks like they have, they have the right mounting plate on the trans. So we're gonna hook up our drill like we did before. All right, somebody get in there. We're gonna lower the car down. Justin, you get in the car, play the shifter. I gotta tighten this up right about here. Okay. Now try first and second. First, yep. 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 Okay. Third. I can't go to the right. Well, that's all right. Just push to the right and push up. No, nope, let's go first and second. Yeah. Pull to the left and try. Left? Yep. All right, that's first. That's still first? Yep. I'll pull it back. Okay. Pull it back to second. No, no, that's. Pull to the left slightly uh -huh. and then pull, then shift back. There you go. So that's second. All right, now now keep pulling to the left side and push up to downshift the first. All right, now now we'll go to neutral. Push to the right slightly. Go to third gear. Yeah, now pull it back, straight back. That's fourth. All right, so now put it in neutral. Okay, so now so you have first through fourth. Now throw this back here. Put that back in. And we have to put this all the way back here. The reverse. And so we need to hook this pin up to that hole with this drill bit with all three of these aligned. So we have to get this to hook up to that. So you can see that the drill is through all three levers. There's a notch on this outboard shifter plate and there's a notch on the inboard shifter plate. Then you adjust all three linkages so that there's no binding or anything. And you pull the drill out. And now your shifter is adjusted. Okay, first gear. Uh, okay. Second gear. Okay, neutral. Third gear. Oh. There you go. Fourth. Yep, neutral. Yep, reverse. Boom. Okay, first neutral. First. neutral. Yep. All right, now we're gonna move on to the starter. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to follow our progress on this or one of our many other project cars.